Hey there, YouTube. I hope that you'll forgive me for the way that I look and sound today. I'm battling a cold that I've been struggling to get over, and so I've been spending the day inside just trying to get well. And after a while, of course, you end up feeling a little cooped up, and so I decided to do some work to get ready for an upcoming fishing trip. And I came across an idea that was working so well that I thought I should share it with you all. And what I'm trying to do today is get ready for a trout fishing trip in a couple of days with my nephew. It'll be his first time trout fishing. The problem is I only have one rod that's really set up for trout fishing. It's an ultralight rod with six pound test line. And my other rod is this uh, medium action rod from Cabela's. It's got some really heavy line on it. To be honest, it's heavier than what I even need for the, the lake and bass fishing that I usually use this rod for. Um, but I thought, you know what, I don't want to go buy another rod or another setup that's really excels at trout fishing, but I can at least put some lighter line on this. I have some lighter line laying around. I can at least put that on. And so I can use this rod, and my nephew will be able to use my regular trout fishing setup, and it will at least allow us to have some fun together. But I was trying to think of how can I get this line off of this rod without wasting it, getting it tangled up, or, you know, wrapping it around to something by hand over and over again. And so I went up into the attic, and I have some... Uh, spare fishing stuff and I found this old spool laying around it was empty and I tied the string around the spool and as you may be able to see I put a bolt uh, through the center hole of the spool I don't know if you'll be able to see that and on the back side I put a nut to hold the bolt tight and the bolt is sticking out and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the edge of that bolt that's sticking out and I'm gonna put it right here in the chuck of my drill and tighten the chuck down on that bolt and then I'm going to open the bail of my fishing rod, or the reel here, which I already actually did. I'm going to get myself a little tangled up here before I get started, but i got to get this bail open so that the line can spin off of there freely. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go stick this rod over here on the other side of the room where it's kind of firm into something that's holding the handle, and then the, the line can just free spool off of it. All right, I've got my rod over here. The handle stuck down in some couch cushions holding the rod in place and so that the line can come off of there freely. I've got the spool uh, put into my drill. Uh, let's see how this works. All right, that's the end of it. What did that take? Maybe 30 seconds? And uh, just got all the line off of that spool. That worked great. I hope you enjoyed this redneck ingenuity. Uh, if you gotta do something like this, you can try it yourself. And if you don't have an old spool like this laying around, you may be able to even do this with like putting a bolt through the cap of an old water bottle and spinning the water bottle and just wrapping your line up around an old water bottle, something like that might work. Uh, but this worked really well for me. Now all I gotta do is get my new line and spool it up on my, uh, my spool and we'll be ready to go fishing in a couple days. Stay tuned. Maybe we'll even make a video catching some trout. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment what you thought about this idea. And uh, until next time, I hope you remember to get off YouTube and get outdoors.